Hi everyone, this is Marguerite and I am back with this Reader's Digest collage book. I wanted to take out a page, one of the blank pages that I had, and to do a collage on that. And also I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, the covers for this guy. So this is a cover for another Reader's Digest book with the Content's been removed already. The cover is made from a pattern paper. This is not material, it's pattern paper. And then on the spine, there is this coated paper that's um, put over the back of the spine and then continues over to the, to the covers. If you cut right here with um, a sharp blade, like a rotary cutter or X-Acto knife, all you need to do is punch holes in here and your covers are ready to go. The where, the where the bend is for where the spine meets the cover, this area is crimped really tightly. So if you cut it right at the crease, there is no fraying and there's it's not necessary to reinforce this with additional tape or, or anything like that. It's perfect just the way it is. So these covers are very, very easy to put together. So I um, took a page out and I'm going to do a collage on one. Here's my page on one side and I have a blank on the other side. So I have my box of scraps, and this is basically what I use in my collages. I keep a box, and this is it. Um, when it's full, I stop adding things. Um, if I get sick of seeing certain pieces and I don't think that I'll, I'll use it, then I take things out or, yeah, once, once in a while just kind of go through and weed things out. But otherwise, if you have too much stuff, or if I have too much stuff, I, it, it makes collaging so much more difficult. So I keep odds and ends until this box is full, and that's it. So I'm going to take out um, a bunch of things that I've been wanting to use. This weekend I finished an art project and had some scraps left from that. I have a, some magazines that I got free from the library, and one of them is a whole series of this popular science from the 1960s, and it's great because it's got lots of diagrams and um, nice pictures, black and whites, and just a lot of really good content and text and images and illustrations and things like that. So I'm going to be getting a lot of stuff out of this, including this page I just tore out. I really love 1960s industrial and space race things. I've got a lot of stamps from communist countries um, regarding regarding space. Where is my one Czechoslovak? Now, of course, when I'm looking for it, I can't find it. Oh, darn. Oh, here it is, this one. I love these kind of space illustrations. So I'm going to be doing something with this another time for sure. So anyway, here I've got these scraps. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet, so I'm just going to play around until I find something that I would like to do. I like texts with foreign languages and I wonder if I can do something with this. It's an advertisement. Hmm. Put this back 
here. This is um, an envelope, security envelope. Gonna be layering things here. I kind of like that this is a corner. You can see that that's a corner, so I really do want that back over there. Oh, that's kind of good. So I'm gonna take this one away. And I have this. Of also text. Hmm. Okay. Kind of feel like this is taking a little bit too much. It's becoming the dominant piece. I don't know. What does that look like? I have this one, which is thinner. So what if I move this over here and do it this way? Let's see. The tab is there, so this is good because it'll go all the way across. And then I'll pull this out, or I might cut it. I might tear it off, actually. Okay, if I do that and then take this piece and just tear it right here. Let's see, if I line that up. So basically right where that is. Okay, so let's go this way. Now we'll try it. Okay. Put this underneath. So this is going to be last. So this, 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 and this. How does that look? Now it seems like your the focal point is this, just because it's kind of a crazy bold pattern. So if I do this, and the focal point is this area, and there's nothing in that area, that means I should add something to it. So let me go ahead and glue this down, fasten everything down, and then I will come back and think about some ideas of what to do right in here. Okay, so I am back with my collage so far. The only difference, the only thing that I changed was I went back to my um, security envelope and I took this whole piece rather than just a torn piece so I could have those sharp edges. Okay, so that's that. So then I went through my envelope of stamps, international stamps, and I pulled out some possibilities of what we can do of putting some stamps in. Now, as I, as I see, again, your eye just goes right smack here in the middle, and this is kind of tricky because there's there's nothing there to see and if we add something in the middle then it just kind of even makes it um, shrink even more to that to that spot so i i thought about it but i wasn't really making good progress with with stamps though this one matches really nicely with this color here so this for example would look good right here so now I still am not happy with these with this spot right here. And I'm thinking of putting a little bit of acrylic paint. So I have this spool that came with thread for my sewing machine. 
and I saved it because it's a good piece of plastic and it has this um, design that I use to sometimes stamp things with. So I'm going to take a little bit of acrylic paint, just a tiny bit. We don't need very much at all. And these are just cheap stuff that I got at, I don't even know where, just not expensive at all. So I want the blue on this part and the cream here. So I don't know, I'll just play around with this. Is it, is it, you see how it's doing that? It's very, very faintly. So maybe a little bit more ink on there. Okay, now I might mix the blue and the cream slightly and then the solid blue on the way up. Because I just want to change the motions of your eyes so that you see this um, and not so much just the middle part. Okay. So that's it. You want to be careful not to overdo it. You know, maybe I could do a little bit of blue down here, or maybe I'll do some of that blue mixed with the cream. Yeah, that's good. There, that's nice. Now I can take my stamp and I will set it somewhere over here. But I'm going to wait for that to dry first. Let me. Well, Any time I have leftover ink, I put it in another journal that I have specifically for ink <laughs> or leftovers of anything. And it's hard to ugh, oh, get it underneath my camera. Um, see, here's some other stuff here. So actually, I can just go right in here. Let me just take the rest of this. Looks like I've done it before. I see that already. But I see some blues here, so that's working well. So that's good. This is, it's a total mix of just, oh, I'm not even in the picture. A total mix of all kinds of things. Leftover, whenever I have leftover paint, it goes in here. Or also it's where I clean my rubber stamps. So that's it. Okay, get that out of the way. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna take my glue stick and see where do I wanna place this? I think just here. Yeah. This is a very old Austro-Hungarian stamp, but it goes very well with the rest of the colors. Okay, that's it. Done. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again sometime.